Hello everyone, let's look at another linear equation here. Every time when we're solving linear equations, and actually when we're solving uh, different types of equations, usually if there are parentheses, then we want to remove them first. So let's do it by distributing the numbers in front of the parentheses, if there, there are numbers other than the one, right? Okay, so we are going to distribute this negative two right here to the six, and then also to the negative one, right? Okay, so we are going to get the negative 2 times the 6x and then the negative 2 times the negative 1. So now let's put down what we have here. The 3x, we are not doing anything uh, yet to it. So we're just going to we'll just copy it down. And then here we have negative 2 times 6x, which will be negative 12x. And then, um, yeah, so I should really highlight the color for this one just to indicate that that's, that's negative 12x, right? And then x. Okay, what about negative 2 times negative 1? That will give us positive 2. Then now put down the equal sign. I usually will try to line up the equal sign here. Okay, next one Next one is when we distribute the 5 to the x and then to the 2, right? So let's do that. So we can distribute the 5 to the x and then distribute the 5 to the 2. So what we are going to get is that it will be 5x, right? So we have 5 and then x and then 5. Positive 5 times positive 2 will give us positive 10. And then we didn't do anything to the 9. So we are going to just, I mean, the negative 9, right? So we are going to just copy down the negative 9 there. Now, when all the parentheses are removed, the next step is to see if there are like terms that we can combine on each side. Okay, so we, are, we see that there are there are the 3x and the negative 12x x terms, so we can combine them. And then same thing that we have on the right-hand side, we have the constant term 10, and then the other constant term negative 9, so we can combine them as well. So let's combine them. So 3x minus 12x, we are going to get negative 9x. And then we didn't do anything to the, pl uh, the plus 2, right? So we are going to just bring it down here, plus 2. And then we don't do anything to the 5x, so we are going to just get 5x here. And then we have 10 minus 9, so that's positive 1. Okay, 10 minus 9, right? So we get positive 1. Now, there are no more terms that we can combine on each side. So right now is the time to start moving the turns. Uh, when I say we move the turns, we are... We are going to be moving the, all the x turns to one side and then all the turns without the x on the other side. So I want to move this 5x to this side. So let's do a step by step. We are going to subtract 5x from both sides so that I can cancel this 5x. So we are going to get negative 5x right here. And then negative 5x. So you can see that one positive, one negative, so that they will get canceled. Right. So now cancel them. And then we cancel them here. Right here, we have negative 9x and minus 15x. They both have the same signs, and we should be adding the 5 and the 9, and then we are going to keep the sign. So we are going to get negative 14x right here. And then, again, we didn't do anything to the 2, so I'm just going to copy it down. Equals. Now, 5x and the negative 5x, they cancel out, so you, we are getting 0. So we don't need to write this down. We only need to write down the one, right? We have, we have positive one, so we can just put down the one right here. The next step is to move the two to the right-hand side of the equation because we want to isolate the x term. So to get rid of this two, we are going to subtract two from both sides of the equation. So let's do that. Here, we are going to subtract two, subtract two, okay. Then again, one positive, one negative, so that they will get canceled. Then we are going to get what? 
let's continue with our calculation here. So we have the negative 14x on the left side of the equation. So negative 14x and equals. Now, what do we get on the right-hand side? The right-hand side is 1 minus 2, so we are going to get negative 1. Okay, so the last step is to solve for x so that I want this x by itself. I don't want any number other than 1 attached to the x. So to get rid of this negative 14, we need to divide both sides by negative 14. And yeah, so this time we are dividing. We are not uh, adding or subtracting. So as you see before, we have one positive, one negative, one positive, one negative. But this time I'm going to be dividing by the exact same number. So when we do that, then we are going to divide. So let's draw the fraction line first. And then we have negative 14 and negative 14 here. See that the difference between this operation and that operation is that this operation right here, we are including the x in there because we want to cancel out the turn completely, right? And we want to cancel out those two turns. Here, I only want to get rid of the negative like 14. I still want the x right here. So that's why we are using the exact same number, not one positive, not not one positive, one negative. We just want the exact same number so that when you divide them, you are going to get one. So that gives you a one, that gives you a one here. So one over one times X is really just an X. Now, what do you get on this side? This side, again, we are having, um, if we are having negative numbers for the numerator and the denominator, we can cancel them and cancel those two numbers, right? So, yeah, so we cancel them then it becomes one and one, right? So it's one and one. And then you're left with just one over 14. So one over 14, we cannot really reduce the fraction. So the final answer is this x equals one over 14. Then we are finished with this problem. Okay, so that's it.